Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG, and we are back with another tutorial. Today we are looking at a medieval tavern or a country inn. And this suggestion came in from Kamiko, who's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Very helpful supporter of the channel, and I just want to say a big thank you to her, really. But this is uh, this is your tavern, so hopefully this helps you out, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Let's crack on with it. Now, as is usual with my tutorials, a lot of it's modular. You can make changes as you go along, depending on where you want the windows, if there's a view, if there's no view, brick it up, it's fine. And uh, as far as the resources, you're looking at a lot of stone bricks. You're looking at probably at least 10 stacks, uh, mainly for the stairs up here on the roof. Probably more than that, actually. Maybe, to be safe, give yourself 15 stacks of stone bricks. That should hopefully give you more than enough. Uh, for spruce wood, you want probably about I'd say about five or six stacks. Cobblestone, give yourself maybe six or seven stacks of that as well, just because it's going to be doing a lot of support work. And other than that, you need a handful of dark oak. That can be switched out for spruce if you don't have dark oak available. And finally, some stripped birch logs, probably about four or five stacks of that, just to be on the safe side. Uh, I, wish, I, I wish Bedrock had a way to count these, as counting these manually is hell. I, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. It takes too long. <laughs> if you want, if you want tutorials on a weekly basis, I, I have to make compromises. Unfortunately. Anyway, <laughs> here is the floor plan for this build. You've got uh, an even section in the middle here, so you want to get a spruce log, and then a gap of four spruce log. Come out with one stone brick on the side here, and then again, before spruce log, five stone brick spruce log. 8 stone brick, spruce log, 8 stone brick, spruce log, 5 stone brick, spruce log, 6 stone brick, spruce log, 5 stone brick, spruce log. You get the idea, it will all match up. And basically we want to bring these up in the corners wherever the spruce logs are by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do that in all of your corners, like so. And what we can do is we can start to put in the stone brick here as well and you want to just basically wrap it around fill in this area here and what we want to do is grab some dark oak stairs and just wrap them around we're going to make a little bay window and this is going to be i believe too high i will just double check that on here yep yeah, just too high so we can actually bring the stone brick down one more while we're at it doop, 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 and just follow that round wrap it around like that. We'll put the glass in after we've done the walls. So first off, we're going to start filling in these walls and windows. And on these particular ones here, we're just going to bring the stone brick all the way across like that. And we're going to come in two on that side, two on that side, two lots on the top, and you've got a window that's full long. You can change that if you want to, but that's kind of what I went with for these particular sides. And again, up five with the logs. Bring it all the way around, like so. Up, up, and up, up. And on this back side, I believe I kept it mainly blank. I don't think I put any windows in, did I? No, I didn't. So you can basically just fill this in completely with bricks, uh, putting up the spruce logs wherever they are on the template here. Two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got a, a rough guideline here. I'm going to fill in all of this around here and then we're going to come back for the front entrance. Okay, so for the entranceway, it's relatively simple. Bring this up by five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We want to put our doors in. Bonk, bonk. Ooh, like that and we can bring the stone brick up around the side like so upside down stone brick stairs and if you want to just put a little bit of decoration on here as well so for me I think I put another set of stone brick stairs like that just to put a little bit of a, a feature there and same here we want to bring these walls up by five on this side like that Bring these up as well. 
Okie dokie. Like that. Like that. And then what we can do is just put a little indentation in here as well. So if we just bring that down like that. We'll grab some stone brick stairs. Normal side, upside down. Normal side, upside down. Hey presto, done. So windows now. For these sort of bay windows, we can actually knock out this block here where we had three stone bricks. We can knock that one in the middle out, bring up four blocks of glass on the two stone bricks there and two on that one as well. And then just get some glass panes. Color doesn't matter. You choose what color you want your windows to be, but that will give us the sort of bay window effect. So two up in there, two up in the middle and some stained glass panes. But as you can see, it gives you a nice sort of bay window effect. Now we can go in and basically fill in all of these windows with the glass of our choice. And what we can do then, if I just grab some spruce wood, bonk, is you can basically go around the top of this build, like so. Follow the outline of the build all the way around with spruce and fill that in. So once I've done the windows and filled that in, your next, your next sort of job will be to do the support beams. So that is basically just a normal size, a normal side up cobble, then an upside down cobble stir. We've got three cobblestone walls with a dark oak plank on top. So let's go ahead and do that now. I need to grab some dark oak planks. So, oh, well that's easy peasy, look at that, easy peasy. So let's just do a couple of those, and what I'll do is I'll come back to you once that's done. So regular stir, cobblestone stir, upside down cobblestone stir, wall, 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 and a block on top. And you'll do this on every single one of these wooden log pillars, like that. So I'll fill in the, the sort of floor level here for the second floor. I'm going to fill in all the supports, I'm going to fill in all the windows, and I'll be back with you very soon. Now that we've got our sort of first floor level in and these support beams, we can actually go ahead and start making the support trusses for the second floor walls. So for this, I've just kind of alternated between the dark oak stairs and the slabs. It gives you a nice bit of color variation here. You can't really tell from the outside that that is the actual floor for the second level, but it actually looks quite nice. So just anywhere where there's like two blocks together, put just stairs. For this one here, I'm going to put uh, Maybe two like that and two like that, maybe? No, actually we're gonna swap that around. We're gonna go slab, slab, and stairs in the middle. Yeah, that works for me. These ones here, relatively simple. We're just gonna go that, that, and two in the middle. Same here, so stair, slab, stair, slab, slab stair, slab, stair. These ones are easy peasy because they are odd. So stir, miss gap, stir, miss gap, stir, miss gap, and then just fill in the gaps with slabs. Here, stir, 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 and slab, slab. Basically fall it around. Uh, we'll quickly finish that off. And once I've got all that sort of outside doohickeys in, we can then go ahead and put in our logs. In fact, I'll show you exactly how to do that. We're just going to put in spruce logs, one, two, three, on every single one of these dark oak full blocks, or on top of the supports, I should say. One, two, three. So yeah, once you've got those supports in, we'll crack on with the sort of design of the walls and the stripped birch. Okay, time for the wall design phase. So on these sort of larger sides here, we can basically bring up the strip birch there by one on that side. Well, three high, but you know, one wide. And on here, two. Do the same here. Like that. And then bring your spruce up again to match. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we can just kind of put in a singular window like that. So those windows are gonna to be too high and on top of those windows, we're going to sort of start building up a little bit of a kind of eave. Is it an eave? I don't remember what these are called on roofs, but you get the meaning. So here we can actually now go up by another two blocks. Yeah, another two blocks. 
with the spruce. So one, two, one, two. And then on top of that, we've got two of these strip birch. Now you might have to place a temporary block just to place that. And then on top of that, we've got another two, I believe, just double check, because it's hard to know with these. We've actually got one and a cross beam. Okay, that's not a problem. So just put an extra one on the for now like that. And we're going to be doing the same here as well. So just to go over that again, like so, temporary block, one, two, and then get your spruce, one on top of there, two on top of those, and get rid of your temporary block, like that. And we're going to be doing the same on this side as well. So once we've got that one done, we'll move on to the back side here. So with the back side of this build, we want to basically bring it up by three, like that. We've got another gap there like that. We're going to put a window in here. This one here that we brought up free, we can put one more on top like that. We want a gap here of, just double check, I think it's two, is it? No, it's one and then it's two in the middle. Right, okay, that makes sense actually. So we have a gap of one here and we want to go up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gap of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, excellent. One on top of the gap here of one and three up. Gap again, three up. And we just want to put, at the moment, strip birch that's three high in all of those. Like that. And then, let me just check these back windows here. We've got. Oh, actually, we need to change that. That is not free high, it's too high there. That's not a problem. We can do that any second. Let's just go ahead and make sure we've got everything we need. We do. Right, back to it. We need to grab our strip birch. Place one there. Place one there. Grab your class, put that in, like so. Just knock those out, and we're actually gonna bring spruce across like that. So this bit here in the middle, it's too wide, it's basically a square, two by two, of strip birch. And you see it's starting to take shape now, but what we need to do now is basically put in these cross beams. So if you look carefully at this one, it comes in once. So on top of these three birch, we're gonna go up by one, two, I think three, yeah, three. So we wanna go up by three more of the spruce. So if we go ahead and grab our spruce locks, we wanna go up by one, two, three, one, two, three. We want to go across this one like that. And we can actually put in our little window eave. Then we can go ahead and grab another window in here. So we want to put three birch cross, and then we've got what, one, two, just let me double check. Yeah, it's just two now. Excellent. So we're getting the shape now. It's always tricky to remember exactly how these builds go because usually I just build them on the fly. They're not really that well planned out. <laughs> I, I, I build them and then I tinker with them until they're correct and then I hope for the best. So two up, two up, and then one on top like that. And we want to repeat that here as well. Now to finish off this particular side, we can actually bring this up another three on top of these. One, two, three. And here as well, one, two, three. Basically fill this one in completely with a strip birch and then just go one on top like that. Now these windows here will actually translate across to this one as well. So if we do that now, we'll go up by three, up by three, one in the middle. Get a spruce, one, two, three, one, two, three. Windows, pop, pop. And we want to go here, and we go one, oops, one, two, one, two. Get our spruce again, bring it across, and our dark oak uh, slabs. One, two, three. Bring across the birch. One, two, three. Two on top of this of spruce. Get our windows up, up, and a log on top. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this one in here as well, and then we'll work on these sides here. And then we're ready for the roof, which is a bit of a tricky one. Uh, it'll take a bit of mm, 
jiggery pokery and a bit of bit of messing around to actually get it right. But it's not it's not too hard. Um, it's just making sure that you place things in the right spot, otherwise it starts to make the roof look a little wonky. But I mean, hey, that might actually work for your build. If uh, it comes out looking a little uneven, makes it look a little older, makes it look a little dilapidated. Not a bad thing. Right, I'll get on and finish this. Now this part is relatively simple. Third block up, get your spruce logs, bring it across. Do -do 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 -do. Like, ooh, like so, and then on top of these ones, one in from this, one, two, three, four up, one, two, three, four up. Then all we need to do is fill this in here like that, fill this in like so, and like so, and then bring this up just one higher than those spruce logs. And I think there's a little bit extra on top of these. How much more is the question? One, two two. Easy peasy. So another two sets of the strip birch logs on top of these that we've placed in here. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can actually bring in these spruce ones up as well, like so, to match. And I think that might be it for this. We can actually start work on the roof. Not quite, actually. One, two, three. Looks like I've brought that one up by one. Just double check. No, two. Two. Hmm. Don't remember doing that. Okay. Well, it's there. It definitely happened. <laughs> We're going to bring that up by two. Like so. And there we go. We are ready for the roof. And as you can see, it's taken shape quite nicely. So I will get what I need for the roofing material and I'll be back with you soon. Okay, we're ready to start the roof and I will just note that I have put a stone brick full block in each of the corners. It will just help us when we're starting to put the stairs in to wrap them around. So if you want to do that first, definitely feel free to. Uh, it's not essential because you'll be sort of, as you're wrapping the stairs around, you'll be coming to these points to actually put a stone brick stair in there, but I just find it personally a little bit easier. So we can actually wrap this around like so. And then once we get to the log here, we can put an upside down stir, full block, normal side stir, upside down, full block, regular side, uh, regular stir block, upside down. Here we are actually gonna put a full block as well. We're gonna have a cross beam that goes across here, uh, which we should probably do now actually, to be honest. Let's grab the thing we can actually put. You know what? Let's let's put the stir block in first. There we go. <laughs> like that. And we'll wrap it down this side before we put the cross beam in. But the cross beams will help us kind of just visualize where the roof is going to go when we're filling in those blocks. So bring it all the way down, like so, upside down, regular, stone, upside down, regular and wrap it around that. So, now that we've got that one there, we can actually bring a cross beam all the way across. Why is that not as high? Well, I noticed my mistake. Can you spot it? It's right here. So, what we need to do is actually put a little cross beam there. Get rid of that. And we need the birch again. Bop, bop, bop. If you've made this, I apologize. Uh, it shouldn't have happened, but there we go. It does happen when you're building sometimes. So make sure it's like this one. So three high, then you've got another three high, two high, two high, one on top, and then you've got the cross beam and the birch. I did not have this cross beam here, and it just threw me out a little bit when I was doing that. But there we go, fixed. So we can do that cross beam there. We're going to do the same on the side, just so you get the idea of where it should actually meet up without. A mistake. <laughs> we want to wrap the stirs around like so, where there's a log, upside down, full block, regular stir, upside down, full block, regular, upside down, full block, regular, then upside down in the middle, regular, full block, upside down, regular, full block, 
upside down, regular, full bot, upside down, and just wrap it around the corner like so. And again, we can bring the cross beam across. So where you've gone up here, there should be a gap on top of this log. Just bring your spruce cross beam all the way across like that. We can do the same on the roof here. And once we've got that done, we'll work on these sides and matching this bit up. These sides are relatively simple for the stirs. Just bring it round like so and walk it up as you would normally. Now with this one here, yeah, we do go one block above as well. So make sure you whack a stir block on there. Oh, sorry, a full block, then a stir block. You want to be able to see this here. So you will have an extra block there, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. I find when I'm trying to explain the roofs, I often struggle. It's, it's quite often very hard to explain exactly what's going on with a roof system like this, unless you're building it yourself. Uh, we can wrap that all the way along to the next part of this build. Here we go. And then walk it up again. Full block, stir, upside down. Full block, stir, upside down in the middle. And back down the other side, like so. And it will match up with this side here, like that. Like that. So now once we've got that framework here, we can go ahead and do that on the other side as well. And I'll do that in a minute, but what we'll do is we'll start filling this in. So what you can do is start bringing your stirs all the way across here and full box as well, all the way across. Anywhere where there is a full stone block, you can actually bring that across already like that and like this as well but before we actually do that we are just going to knock out a few of these here because I forgot it actually wraps around here like that uh, knock 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 and like that so that gives you an idea of how it's actually going to wrap around quite nicely and it will fit in quite nicely as well so we've got that there we've got this here we've got full box on this one which I forgot about bring that across there Knock those out. Just basically match it up like that, basically. It's uh, not too difficult. We want to put three stone slabs on any of these here in the corners. And in these, we can actually just use stir blocks like that. Wrap these stir blocks around here. And these ones around here. So, and this part of the roof is almost done. All we need to do then is probably look at putting some stone bricks across here. Some stone bricks across here, just matching up these stairs here. And then we can look at our little flicky outy bits. That's the technical term, I've decided. Flicky outy bits. Just something simple like that works quite nicely. And you can bring it across here, and then just on this one, pop a little stir. Just like that and it looks like it's all matching up quite nicely. So as you can see, that is that side of the roof done. We're gonna do the same on that side. And then we work on the crazy complicated bit in the middle. Trust me, it was it was a lot of fun trying to figure that out. So uh, it, it might be a confusing part of the tutorial. Feel free to stop it, slow it down, go back. It will make your life easier if you, <laughs> if you Maybe watch it twice before you try it because uh, it's it's tricky. Upon editing, I realized I forgot to tell you guys add the little flicky things and some slabs along all of these beams here uh, just to finish up the roof. Well, I recorded the most difficult part and then I found out I had a recording malfunction, let's say. So the audio was all screwed up. I've deleted everything that I felt we were up to. Uh, I will just get rid of this because this is something that I had added in. Uh, let's just bring that back. There we go. So this is what we were up to. I think I'd edit this in, but I'm not entirely sure. So if you haven't got the cross beams in yet, go ahead and put those in and we can start building up this roof. So at the moment, we're just going to place it on top of the logs. We're going to work on the 
final facings a little later. Same here, we want to bring some stirs all the way along, just up into that point. Same on this side. Well, this was the most difficult bit, but I'm actually feeling a lot more confident about it now because I've done this, what, three or four times in the last 40 minutes as the recording has been very frustrating. Uh, apologies if this tutorial is a little disjointed compared to my usual tutorials. Obviously, uh, I've not been very well. I've had a few issues with recording stuff. Uh, my uncle was here from England, who I've not seen for 16 years, so that's been quite exciting. And uh, that's obviously thrown a spanner in the works when it comes to recording as well. Now, once we've got this bit here, we can bring these bits around here. So what we need to do is grab a full block, pop it next to that little corner piece, same here. There, like that, it will wrap around, all set. Grab your stone brick stirs, and just one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. We want to go ahead and grab another stone brick stir. Bring that up by two, like so. We'll put a slab on each of those, and I think we're pretty much ready to go. So what we can do is we can then get our upside down stirs. One, two, three. So that's one against the birch here, one against the spruce here, and one against the other side of the spruce. And that will start to give you that shape to wrap around. Now, what we need to do is wrap that around, oops, wrap that around on top of those stone brick stairs, like so. Yep, yep, yep. We can go ahead and chuck some stone brick in here and wrap that around like that. Same here, one, two down to meet the logs and around, and wrap this around as well. So this is actually proving not to be too bad this time around. In fact, what we might do though is make that a full block. This might be slightly different from that roof, but I feel like covering that up completely might be handy. In fact, that might be this side completely done. Uh, we'll come back to that shortly. So now we can Baby step this down, like so. Same here. Baby step it down this side. Looking pretty good. Fact, let's go ahead and bring it down one more, like that. And we're going to go ahead and put a stir block like that as well. In fact, we'll put one on top of the as well. We'll start building that up. So we need a full block, full block, full block, full block. That's looking pretty good. We're also going to build this up as well. So we're going to go upside down, upside down. Can I get in there? There we go. Oh, okay. Dip, dip, up, up. There we go. Regular, regular, upside down, upside down. Just maybe step that up again just to join up with this, like so. And that gives us a nice little facade on the roof there as well, just kind of break it up a little bit from that flat surface. It's looking pretty good. It looks like we're almost done. All we need to do is baby step this now. One, two, one, two. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Next week's tutorial should be a little easier. We're probably going to be working on a butcher shop. I can't remember the name of who suggested that, but I will look it up and they will get a mention in the next tutorial for the butcher shop. I've got some fun ideas for that. But this one is almost complete. All we need to do now is probably wrap these slabs around like so and kind of fill in the gaps. pretty much good. If you wanted to, you could actually then put another layer here just to kind of add a bit of detail. Not essential, but how does it look? Let's have a look. Got a gap of one there and we'll do maybe a, just a gap of two there. How do I feel about that? That's actually not bad. We might do that. So rather than have it completely flat, you've got a bit of extra definition there. 
you know, the little details. Sometimes it doesn't seem like much, but it does help. Let's bring these across as well. And we're almost done. And then I can kind of show you what I've done uh, elsewhere. There's a chimney that I've, well, in the recording that I had to delete, I've added a chimney to this one over here. If you do want a look at how I do my chimneys, I would highly recommend the mountain cabin tutorial I did. I'm going to put a link to it here. Bing! And the sort of tail end of that video, I, I give you a block for block tutorial on that particular chimney. It's a very similar style. There's no point in me doing that sort of part of the tutorial again because it's a very, very simple chimney. Uh, I recommend going and checking that out and then you can choose where the chimney goes. That's where I've put mine. It doesn't have to be there. Uh, let's have a look. We've got a middle block here now that we need to put in there and basically bring it all the way along until there's a gap of two at the end. Like that. And there we go. That is the tutorial complete. That is our country tavern. Now, I have gone through on that one and done a bit of block variation. I've lit it up, I've decorated it, and I will show you that right now. So, over here, the reason I added the chimney. Whoa, that was bizarre. I just went super speed. We've added a little bit of variation here, a bit of mossy here and there, some leaves. I'll show you the chimney. So you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. It's nothing major, but it just adds a little bit extra to that build. And with it being a, an inn, if you're traveling, you come in, it's raining, you want to dry off. So that fire is handy. We have got our piston table, so redstone block with a piston on top makes a lovely little table. You can put fire pots as uh, beverages of your choice. Um, maybe Guinness, by the color of that, uh, some sort of port type beer, like a dark beer. We have got our fireplace rising up there. It's looking very lovely. I've got a door out here. I didn't finish decorating the back of here, but you could add like a little beer garden if you wanted to, or stables maybe. Your choice. We've got our bar area with a chest for payment and some casks of wine, honey, mead, you know, cider, whatever, whatever you want really. And then a double wide staircase that rises up here to the second floor. As you can see, I've just kind of brought these cross beams across a little bit here and there to kind of give it that sort of old medieval feel. Anywhere where the stone slabs or stone stairs were showing, I've covered them up with spruce and it just kind of feels more like it's insulated. In each of these rooms we've got a nice little bit of decoration, some chests for storage, the odd wardrobe, desks, things like that. And I think it came out really, really nice in the end. I'm very happy with this build. It was a difficult build. It's been a real pain to record, but hopefully it made sense. I apologize if I made a few mistakes through this. Um, I always try and improve my, my tutorials with each one that I've created. This one was a bit difficult because it's been so disjointed with my recording sessions and things like that. So. If I have made a mistake and you've had to go back, I do apologize, uh, but that's kind of the way it works with some of these builds, unfortunately. But that is our medieval tavern slash inn. And if you liked the build, if you enjoyed what you saw, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you've made it this far in the tutorial, thank you, because honestly, <laughs> I, I can understand why people might click off. It's uh, It's been a real pain. It's been a real pain, but I'm glad I got it done. I do think that the chimney adds a lot to it, so if you want to add it to your build, uh, check out the mountain cabin tutorial for an idea on how to make that chimney. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy it. If you build it in your world, let me know. Show me on Twitter, at sunfire underscore SG. I would love to see how it looks in your world. But for now, that is me. I will see you next tutorial for a butcher's. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.